Hello, my name is Andrew Williams. I am the Immunization Coordinator for Children's National Hospital, Division of Pharmacy Services. And today I'll be talking to you about the new product for Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine for the five to 11 year olds. A little bit about this product. This product will come in an orange cap. The previous product for 12 plus comes in a purple cap. The new product will be in an orange cap and the storage for this product will be for 10 weeks. The previous 12 plus product, you can store it in your refrigerator for 31 days. The extension for the BUD time, the beyond use date, will be 10 weeks into your refrigerator. So once you receive this vaccine from pharmacy, you will have 10 weeks to utilize this vaccine stored in your refrigerator. Now we will go over the documents needed for compliance with COVID. In order to participate in the COVID vaccine services, you will need compliance documents in order to participate with pharmacy. The first document will be the COVID-19 vaccine request and transfer form. This form is how you order your vaccine vials from pharmacy directly to your clinic site. The first box at the top left is the product requested. You will choose whether you want the 12 plus product or the five to 11 product. Please be mindful because there are two Pfizer products and you want to choose the correct product for your clinic. The second box will be the unit, which will always be vials. The third box will be the date needed and the time needed. Please be mindful that in order to receive your vaccines, we will need a 72 hour advance notice. The next box will be the delivery location. Please be mindful to always include your location so that our medication delivery coordinator knows where to go. The next box on the bottom row will be the quantity of the vowels you need. In order to choose your vowels, you need to know that each vowel contains 10 doses for your prepared syringes for the 5 to 11 product and six doses for your prepared syringes for the 12 plus product. The last box that you will be responsible for is the requester contact information. And this is just the point of contact for our medication delivery coordinator to reach once they arrive to your site. The next document is the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine inventory log. This is a daily inventory log that should be filled out by the champion of each clinic or the participating staff member for that day. For the inventory log, it should always have the date for each day that your clinic is open the site name of your clinic, and then we will move on to the transactions. For the transactions, receiving will be when your site receives all of your product for your clinic. We will start with the time, record the time that you receive, circle receive, the number of vials received, the lot number and the expiration date of the vials, the destination will be your clinic location, and then we will skip syringes prepared, administered, and wasted, and go to total vials on hand. Each vaccine transaction should have the supervisor signature at the end of the row. Moving on to removal. Removal will be removing a valve for your prepared syringes in your clinic. You will start with the time. You will start with circling remove. Your number of valves should always be one valve at a time. The lot number and expiration date of that valve. The destination will be your clinic name. Syringes prepared will be 10 for the five to 11 product and six for the 12 plus product. Syringes administered will be how many patients you gave a shot to that day for that product. Syringes wasted will be how many syringes you did not use. The total vials on hand shall always be subtracted every time you remove a valve from your refrigerator. Again, every transaction line should have a signature from the supervisor or the site locations champion. Each Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine inventory log should be reported to myself at arwilliam2 at cnmc.org at the end of each week. The inventory log should be filled out daily, whether you utilize vaccines or not. If you did not use the vaccine inventory log, just write void and still document and send to arwilliam2 at cnmc.org at the end of each week. The final document is the COVID-19 vaccine supply requisition form. This form will be used to request vaccine supplies for the COVID vaccine. Please submit your order by 12 p.m. from Monday to Friday to pharmacy purchasing at childrensnational.org and please allow 24 to 48 hours for delivery. The form should have the date, the requester name and signature, the location and the call center on the form.
Today, I will be instructing you on the critical sites of a needle and syringe, the proper thawing of the vaccine, dilution of the vaccine, proper storage of the vaccine, administration of the vaccine, as well as best practices for handling the COVID-19 vaccine. All right. First, we will want to have our preparation mat on the table and organize our supplies. On my left and your right, we have our dilution supplies. And on my right and your left, we have our administration supplies. So the dilution supplies, you want to have your diluent, which is the same as the 12 plus product. Um, we have the 0.9% sodium chloride preservative free product. And we have our three ml syringe and our 21 gauge needle. For the administration products, we have our one ml syringe and our 25 gauge safety glide needle. We want to utilize the pill method to remove our supplies so that the particles from the paper does not contaminate our critical sites. The critical sites of a needle and syringe are the plunger, the syringe tip, the needle hub, and the needle. We do not want to touch those sites. The action items are invert, dilute, invert. So we want to take our 0.9% sodium chloride preservative free and draw 1.3 mLs of this diluent. The previous product for 12 plus patients would be 1.8 for this new product for five to 11 year olds will be 1.3 mLs. All right. Best practice would be to wipe off the top of this diluent vial and clean it really well before we enter the vial with our needle. Best practice would also be to enter the vial at a 45 degree angle. Invert the valve so that the needle will be at the wall of the valve and pull down to your 1.3 mLs. You want to use the scoop method when you recap and verify your 1.3 mLs with the partner. All right. Our three-step action items are invert, dilute, invert. So we want to invert the vaccine product 10 times. Five. Ten. All right, we will pop off the cap, the orange cap of the vaccine and again, before we enter the valve, we want to properly wipe off the top of the valve with the alcohol swab. All right. Now we can enter the vaccine valve at a 45 degree angle and transfer the diluent into the vaccine valve. Best practice before removing the needle out of the valve is to remove all the negative pressure by pulling back on the plunger so it doesn't splash on you. We invert it, we dilute it, and now it's time to invert 10 more times. Five. Ten. Now we can take our administrating products, the one ml syringe and the 25 gauge safety glide needle, screw them on tightly. The previous product for 12 plus patients would be 0.3 ml. So be mindful of the dose for the participating patient. Best practice would be to wipe off the valve before you enter. Cool.
continue to enter at a 45 degree angle. Invert the vaccine valve, allow the needle to rest on the side of the wall of the valve and pull back more than 0.2 ml and push back up to 0.2 ml to ensure the proper dose. You want to get all of the bubbles out. and verify with a partner for your dose before giving the vaccine. Use the scoop method to recap the needle and document 12 hours for your beyond use time or your beyond use date, which is your BUD, as this new Pfizer product has a longer shelf life after dilution. Label your vaccine with the BUD time so others may know when the expiration of your prepared syringe is. Best practice is to put the vaccine face down or needle down into the protect from light bag and store them in your refrigerator. Thank you to our participating clinics and healthcare professionals for offering the COVID-19 vaccine services. If you have any additional questions, please escalate to your supervisors. Thank you.